Check, check. Audio check. Okay, we're back live. Oh, I forgot to update my title here. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see here. Let's put this in the right order. <laughs> I had a fundamentally incorrect view of the order of the execution of the different shaders in the pipeline. That understanding has now been updated, corrected, fixed. Well, I've never worked with this very much. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> We got to get a nerdy laugh going. Give me a few more practices on that. We'll get it. We'll get it. We shall get a nerdy laugh going. Okay, so now we're going to get the geometry shader. So what we need so what I did before was wrong, just fundamentally wrong. And what you have to do with the different shader pipelines Shader sta stages in the shader pipeline is be very accurate and very correct. <laughs> if you're off by one thing, the entire thing will not work. So there we go. Uh, here we go. All right, so where do we start here? So we're going to load these up. Um, this time we are going to load. Do we have a geometry shader for this UST3? I don't think we do. UST3 does not have a geometry shader, so let's load up two. And we'll save that as three. And uh, we're just going to do pass through the way we do this. So it's going to go to the tessellation shaders, then it's going to come here. We're not going to use a hash, we're not going to use any of this. Uh, boom. So this would be like the most, uh, and ChatGPT even has a more correct version, I think, of the geometry shader. So triangles in, triangle strip out. Let's see what our layout is. Let's look at that. 
I really like the way that ChatGPT does the in and out variables, so I might update all the shaders. Um, in fact, let's do that. Let's do that as an exercise. We'll load all the shaders. We'll go up to version 4 on everything. So the vertex shader, start with that. See, this is just going to have the three there. And then if we look at the vertex shader from here, so it's vertex position and color, this in stuff here. And then, wait, why? Is that the vertex shader? Oh, that's a vertex attribute. Okay. Well, in this case, we're not going to have any out from the vertex shader, so we're just going to leave that alone. So that's good, at least. So the only thing that's going to come out from the vertex shader is what's required, which is a GL position. And I'll leave that open so you can look at it, or so I can look at it if I want to, need to. So then let's go to the three tessellation control shader. So this is the next stage from the vertex shader to the tessellation control shader. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry. <laughs> I just like humming and, and I know it's annoying. Apologies, apologies. Maybe I should mute my microphone for a little bit, but I want to talk too, so. Boom, 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 boom. So this is all that's coming out of here too, so let's leave that there. Bam, 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 bam. And then here, okay, then we're going to go to the fragment shader. I just want to get this all correct. And then are we going to move to, what are we going to do? Move to four on this or what are we doing? Well, I think the reason I wanted to is because the geometry shader is different here. But let's look at it. Layout in, layout out, and geometry shader. That's the same. Yeah, the only thing it does different is just this right here, and it deals with this, which we don't have, uh, that color. But I do like this emit vertex. Let's wrap the emit vertex around that. Does it have the G out size? We're not going to worry about size, apparently. But, um, so the emit vertex is wrapped inside of this for loop. So we're not going to use the color, we're not going to worry about color, because we're just going to programmatically set that in the fragment shader for now. It's just a very absolute minimal, there's three. Okay, so it's just the length that's sent in, and then it's just going to, that's it. That's all it's doing. We're not at, we're not doing anything, just pass through, complete pass through. Complete pass through. Okay, so that's good, the uniform's still there. The uniform is not here, which we do want uniform time to be in here. So uniform, float the time. Okay, and then so control and shader. I don't think we're going to need time in here. And we don't need time in here in the vertex shader, but we're just going to leave it there. Geometry shader, now we're going to put it in there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to record a, a short really quick here. So one thing that I did learn recently is that when you pass in a uniform, it does not matter what stage in the shader pipeline you send it to, because the uniform goes uniformly. Oh, I guess. I never really understood that until I said it just now. Uniformly to all the stages in the shader pipeline. So it's the same here in the vertex shader. It's the same in the geometry shader. It's the same in the fragment shader. And I suppose if you could put it into the tessellation shaders, that would be the same there as well. And that's all that I had to say about that. That was about 40 seconds. That should be a good short. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! We're shorting it.
All right. That was my short. I made a short for the day. I feel so short. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Uh, that was bad. Okay, so fragment shader, blah, blah, blah. All right, I think we might be good. We might be ready. I don't know. I'm scared. So now this has the geometry shader. And in this one, it doesn't... It, okay, so... The thing that was messing me up before as well as I had all those extra variables and they were headed in the wrong direction so they had the wrong names. Oh, okay. Let's just run this and see. Okay, so it's still, it works. It, and with the geometry shader, okay. Are there any errors though? It doesn't, it shouldn't be. Yeah, there's none. There are none, is what I meant to say. There are none. So, this is cool. So how does, how does... So when we get this position from, I guess, the tessellation shaders? Oh, before we continue, before I play around real quick here. Um, oh, not in there. Uh, in here in here Layout triangles in max vertices one. Example for the first vertex of each primitive. Oh, but if we want all three, we would set max vertices to three and loop. I already know what that's going to look like, but I just wanted to be an even lazier. Because what you would do is right here you'd go triangles in, points max vertices equals 3. And here you would have that loop where it just goes for i equals 0. i is less than uh, gl underscore in, uh, or 3. And you would loop through all of them. Yeah, there you go. It would look like that. So 
So lay out triangle strip out. So you're going to do, okay, I got you. So what happens is, so what happens is you're really em emitting one point each primitive. Because end primitive is called within the loop. So the zeroth time it's going to end primitive. When i is equal to one, it's going to emit the vertex and the primitive. And when i is equal to 2, it's going to emit the vertex and end the primitive. Sorry if I'm talking too loud. The music's really loud in my ear there. Okay. So you're really going to get three vertices. Even though it says max vertices equals 1. That's just so really awkward. That's really awkward. But okay as long as you can understand that that is how it works and obviously i'm going to try that right now <laughs> that's what we're doing right now so okay so each one of these what are we getting here Attention. okay so so then we just keep this triangles out which is my question and then triangles in here and then in the geometry shader we're going to go like this with points right we're going to go Layout points, max vertices equals one out. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, layout points, max vertices equals one out. Okay, let's just set this to four when we're done. Okay, uniform flow at the time, all that. And then this is going to go, I is less than GN length, but, oh, I see, so you could use whatever, but yeah, then this. And then the only change here is we're just going to put in Excuse me, and primitive. Oh, excuse me again. Uh. Okay. So I think that will work. Points. And now we get points, but see, there's only three. Hmm. So what I had there, what it had there before was gl underscore in dot length. Mm. Hold on, where was that? Am I doing GL underscore to not length? Okay. Um, 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 um. I'm kind of confused. Oh, there we go. We got it. That's what I want. Okay, that helps me there, so save that. So that's the geometry shader, turning the vertices. Okay, so let's go back up here then. And let's just really, 32. 
So that just gives us a bunch more points. And if we're only outputting one... Okay, so let's lower this down. Just for... Let's go to uh, eight. Each one's going to be eight. Okay, now we'll get ready to update that as well. Ba -ba. Okay. So with these, each one of these points, what I want to do in the geometry shader, GL in position. Okay, so what I want to do is just have a radius and then I'll output so what I have to do is a multiple because it's okay interesting so for each triangle it's gonna have three points oh I see because they're overlapping I bet you that we're seeing, we're actually generating more points than we're seeing because there are so many triangles meet at a certain vertex so let's see if we can view all the points here and let's give each each one each vertex uh, two points is that going to work though because each vertex is going to be out, offset I don't think that'll work so let's just go back with three Okay, so what we want to do... <laughs> Actually, yeah, it will. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just go with two right now for each one. So G and length. I have no idea how this is going to work with I. I think I do because... Because... Let's just go based on I. So the radius is going to be like 0 0.5. So GL position... Oh. Going to equal GL in position, which is what? Is that a vector four? I forget, but I think it is because in the vertex shape, yeah, it's a vector four. So wait, back up here. Oh, wait, no, right down here. <laughs> So really we're only concerned with x and y, so we're going to go vector 4, gl in, dot gl position dot x. So then we're going to use that as the center, plus, or actually we can use a vector 2 here. We'll go vector 2, and then we'll just calculate an offset as a radius, which is 0. 0.0. Five. Radius times an angle, which we're just going to do. Um, I is going to go from 0 to 3, which is not even a full pi. So we, we can just go cosine of I, comma 0 0.05. We're not calculating for aspect ratio, so it's going to look like an oval, I guess, if, if it looks like anything. So we're going to have that plus this vector x, y, comma, and then just z is going to be 0, and w is going to be 0, I'm pretty sure. Does that break anything? Yes. There's an error, though. Oh, no, there's no error. What? Zero point five cosine of i, point five sine of i. Do I have all my parentheses in the right spot? Yeah, there would be an error, I guess, if there wasn't. This is geometry shader, right? Yeah. Cosine of i, sine of i. So that's that's like your offset, and then that's the center position. Do I need to go vector two on this, or does that actually? It's, uh, it's okay. Do we need Z to be 1? No. 
<laughs> We're lost. Okay, let's go back to what we had originally. Update. There, okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. So let's do this so that we can mess with each one. With, so I can see it as well. X, Y, Z, W. Parentheses. Y, Z, W. Okay, so we didn't break anything with that. So what if we add 0 0.05 to x? Doesn't do anything. Do I get an error? Oh, I get an error down here. Oh, expecting that it took in that what, line 17. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did I miss? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is a semicolon there, isn't there? Oh, there's not supposed to be a comma there. Okay, so that did shift their position. So, and if we also go times i, there, see, now we're getting them. Oh, and because the i is an integer, and I wanted to take the the. F so I think if I go, I think that was the problem. So 0.5 times the cosine of float i. Okay, that doesn't give an error. So let's take that and replace that comma. Go with sign there. Update. Okay, so I think we're seeing all of our vertices there. <laughs> Should be. Could be. I mean. So each one of these, and it's three. What if we just go with three? Probably gives an error, doesn't it? No. No error, but it's only, th but, and it doesn't change the, what if we change it to one? Then it goes back to the original ones. Okay. Emit vertex and primitive. So a point is just, okay. <laughs> GL in length, yeah. Okay, well I'm just kind of understanding, you know, the tessellation, or the geometry shader there, after it has been through the tessellation shader, I guess. That's interesting, so let's save the four there. I'm going to come down here and save this one for there. And then when I load up next time, see what I need to do is set a thing so that because I updated the geometry shader to 4 and the tessellation evaluation to 4. Where is the tessellation control? It's tessellation control. Yeah, sorry. Wrong one. Wrong one. Four. Okay, three, and then up here, that's going to be four and three. So save that. We'll exit there. Just to make sure, we're going to load everything back up and load those new shaders. So it should show. Oh, is there an error or something? No. So what happened? Three. Four vertices out. 
that's the control shader. 8888? Hmm. Oh. Okay, I forgot to save that. Did it save it then? I just want to double check with the saving. Is is saving? Okay, good, save. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's cool, I guess. Now we have... Okay, so, yeah. So now we have our ultimate shader playground. We have the vertex shader, tessellation control shader, evaluation shader, geometry shader, and the fragment shader. So... The next step is to actually make the ultimate shader playground. So remove, remove, add existing. Oh, I didn't. Uh, wait. Let's just open it. I didn't update it just yet. Okay, so 11, so 10 was earlier today, and we added tessellation without geometry shader. Okay, then we did main station generator 011, then we added geometry and and tessellation. Whereas before, what we had with 9, is just geometry shader. OK, and I'm just going to capitalize that and ask me why. So, now what we want to do with 12 and then this, if I, if I get this right now, I will update itch with the next version and we'll change the name of it to Ultimate Shader Playground. Okay, so... Shader ultimate, and this one we're gonna have to update this one as well because this is where the the editor will change is in the shader ultimate. Show GUI is where we're going to make the change. This is only version 02. There will be a lot more features besides just adding all the uh, stages of the pipeline, shader pipeline. Show instructions. Oh, we don't have that. Did I set it? Is that true at the start? Oh, let's leave it in for now because we might do sh uh, show instructions later and it's already wider and taller, I guess, so. Okay, shader code equals that, protect shader. So let's add three checkboxes. Actually, just two. Geometry shader, tessellation shaders. OK. 
Okay. Ouch. <laughs> that hurt my ear. Not my ear, but my eardrum. Alright. So, two checkboxes. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, Missing anybody? Is my TTS not working? Oh, okay. Hello to lurk to the lurkers. Anybody new following or any kind of activity? Okay. Certainly. To add checkboxes in I'm GUI for Boolean values, you can use the I'm GUI checkbox. I can. Show triangles enable lightning. Oh. Oh. Let's not jump ahead to the next version or so. Let's just. <laughs> Assuming you have two Boolean variables, you're going to control the checkboxes. You can add checkboxes if you're going to go even like this. This block runs when you check when the checkbox state changes. Actually, we just want to change the Boolean, and that's it. Okay, perfect. That's easy. Easy. Okay. So, first of all, let's put in our Booleans at the top here. Let's put Boolean, so I'll remember where we're at up here. Okay, uh, buffer size, average, let's go down here. So we're going to have a geometry on and tessellation on. Should we set them both equal to true at first? Why not? Computer? It's still thinking, I don't know why. So really we just want to go like this. Label and the boolean. Okay, so the label is going to be geometry. And the boolean is going to be geometry on. Does it spelled right? Or wait, does it need the address of the boolean? Yes. Okay, so can I, can I use that thing, that same line thing? That's what I want. Thank you. I'm looking for that. Here. So oh slash Jeff. It did say cellophane one one five seven eight. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I am putting in check boxes for stuff, and I'm almost done. Cellophane one one five seven eight. How's the shader stuff going? Uh, really well, dude. Really well. I'm excited. I'm gonna finish this update and I'm going to upload uh, to um, uh, to itch let's see geometry tessellation okay so that'll th that'll set those booleans right there and then let's come down here and okay so right here if tessellation on then we do this that's what I love about I'm GUI because, okay. And we're, we're going to do both of these only if tessellation is on. So we're going to put it inside this if statement. That's just wild that that's going to do that. And I, I love that. I, you know, I used to just think that I am GUI was, I didn't, I, I didn't get it. 
but I just needed to give it a chance, I think. Need to give myself a chance. Okay, so there's that. And that will show that. So that's cool. So that's one thing. So the next thing that we want to do... Either way, we're going to load those in and do all that. So we're not going to worry about loading and all that. Um, the only other thing we need to worry about... This is easier than I thought. See, loading right here, this is fine. It can load the geometry shader, tessellation control, and then we can just, bool uh, with the Boolean uh, checkboxes, we'll just, okay. Let's put this, uh, check boxes for including geometry and tessellation shaders in editor, or er, playground, playground. Okay, so I think that's good, and where are we at? So the booleans are down there, and this is declared up here, this ultimate six. So... I know, let's put, because it, it does involve that, and I've had this problem before. Right there. So shader ultimate six will know those booleans and I am GUI will update those booleans. Okay, so now in here, what do we need to do? So we can still allow the compilation and all that. Maybe we shouldn't though, because if we're not including the geometry shader and the tessellation shaders, we don't want to, we, do, we don't mind if the code is loaded into the text. So what we want to stop though is Geometry code. Okay, so we can do that right here. And and I know this is, let's just go, if geometry on, I'll just wrap this in there. And then right here, if tessellation on, Same thing here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Shader file, we don't care if that updates, that's fine. See these, we don't care if those update, that'll fine, let that happen. Okay, so shader code. Okay, so the main thing, I, I really don't care if it compiles the code, I just don't want to see the errors. Otherwise, we're leaving that variable with action. That's fine anyway. So, but let's just go like this: if geometry on, do that. That's easy. Vertex shader. No, this is tessellation. And then let's just go down here: if tessellation on, like that. And then this is the tessellation evaluation shader. If tessellation on there. Okay, uh, this is turning out to be way easier than I thought. Okay, so attach shader as well. This, okay, these are together, so we can just if tessellation on. So that will take care of attaching those geometry on. Uh, I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to actually just make that a little bit more obvious. There we go. Yeah, so we don't have to mess with that because we're not messing with the variables. Update shader, I am GUI, that's fine. Because we're not going to shade it. load shader. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. Handle shader. We'll leave that alone. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's see if there are errors and questions and complications and problems. Oh, what happened to my music? Apologies. Let's find some other. 
Let's find some other music here. Let's go to uh, Minecraft and chill. That sounds good. YouTube. <laughs> All right. Muting. Muting. Come on. <laughs> don't pretend you don't do this as well. Mice on Venus? Okay, okay, we're going to leave that alone. Whatever you want to play, that's fine. Okay. So let's go back here and let's see what we get. This is going to be crazy, uh, I think. And do I have to hit update? Oh, we should probably do that. See if I take out the tessellation shader. Oh, and there's an error. No, there isn't an error, but I think I know the reason why. Because, I don't know. <laughs> Layout triangles in because it isn't triangles in. But we can leave that to the uh, programmer right because the programmer would come along and go here and go I know it's points in uh oh still probably wouldn't get it right <laughs> so anyways vertex shader vertex vertices oh because we're drawing patches oh I forgot about that okay that's one thing so that is one thing that has to do with the rendering. That makes sense. Okay, so... Uh, so if tessellation... Oops, on. Thank you. That correct. Microsoft, that made me happy. That was cool. It corrected my spelling. So actually, if actually there's an else, because we basically, if it's not tessellation, if anything else, we're going to draw it like this until we include other options for drawing later, which we'll, we definitely will do, but not right now. Okay, so now it'll revert back to points. Okay, so we go like that. Tessellation is off. Update. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, because it's three vertices, maybe? And total number of points that I'm drawing is. is one? Cellophane 11578. Is this like a mini shader toy? Cellophane 11578. I hope it is. Yeah, this is basically like shader toy only the entire pipeline and instead of the built-in variables that are specific to the uh, application they use this is actually OpenGL variables so none of this is is put in here by me this is uh, except for the time and you can change the name of the floats you have you have total access to all the shaders so but let me I think if I change just for the purposes of this uh, we could either change this to the number three, or we could change total points to three. I'll probably get a warning that total points isn't used now, but I just want to see if we could seamlessly swap between. No? Okay, so we can't seamlessly swap between tessellation and not tessellation. Okay. So what if we take out the geometry shader? Oh, then it does that. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> so if I take out tessellation, what do I have to do to get this to work? It's hard coding three vertices. Layout. Oh, triangles in. Right, because it would be up to the programmer again to know. Okay, so then we're good. 
Okay, so then we're good because we got the three points there. Okay, so aside from wanting to programmatically do that, we'll leave that up to the programmer. I'd say we're done here. That's cool. Okay. All right. Um, that's really cool. <laughs> That is cool. Crazy, but cool. Okay, let me look again at this stuff here. All oh, right, this one's a pass through, okay. So I think so let's can we load that yeah load that load that oh it didn't load what's going on what's happening oh file operation field so wait what's going on did we not have those shaders? Maybe we didn't have those shaders. Is it just... Oh, I don't think that was the name of it. Shader Toy 2? See, this is why having groups of names of shaders would be helpful. Because now I don't remember the names of the groups that I had together, but I can load the previous... Uh, what I wanted to show real quickly is nine, I believe. See, what I want is a group file, a group file that has all these listed. Shader Toy 03 is what I want for all three of them. So, Shader Toy 03, load, copy that from there. Shader Toy 03, Click out and load. <laughs> I just heard a little squeak in the music and I'm like, I remember that. Load and update. And this is what we have. Very nice. See what it is, is these are individual shaders. And with this particular one, all I'm doing is drawing one point. And with the geometry shader, I'm turning one point into a hundred points. They're laid out on the screen by the geometry shader. And then down here, the fragment shader is the one that does the, the, the shading or the, co or the coloring. based on whichever whichever one whichever whichever index so anyways okay now I can safely update it with the next version very cool but um So I better do that, and uh, oh, I think I have a short to upload as well, which is cool. Yep, I think this is a short, so that's cool. All right, well, uh, cellophane, are you still there? I'm, I'm going to end the stream here, and I'm going to update the uh, itch, so we'll have this latest version. Cellophane one one five seven eight. Good stuff. And I might take a nap, and I'll be on later. <laughs> a nap, shopping, and uh, rolling out pasta, fresh pasta. I don't know. That's all on my docket. Hopefully, I'll get it all done here shortly. Oh. Well, good to see you. Take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Cellophane one one five seven eight. Five bucks on edge. It is. 
My question is, do you know if if on itch, if I list this? I might just make a purchase. Nice, thank you. So if if somebody buys it and then I update it, do they still have access to the update? Do you know if that's how itch works? Because I really hope that that is the case. Oh, okay. I have no idea. All right. Well, we'll cross that hurdle when we come to it. I, w I would love to have that hurdle. Because <laughs> I definitely would just let the person, once somebody buys it, they're getting uh, updates for forever. No problem there. All right, take it easy, man. This will be up on itch in probably a few minutes. Okay, stop streaming.